Hi, I'm Joe Baker from Harrison Township Public Library, and today I am going to show you how to make a coaster using Sharpies. Okay, so all you need is a tile from your favorite home improvement store. Costs less than a quarter, so you can um, buy several and make a set, or you can just do one. So you need a tile. You'll need some Sharpies. This is very important. Um, they have to be permanent markers, otherwise they're, they're not going to work right and some rubbing alcohol, an eyedropper, or if you don't have an eyedropper, you can use a straw. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you are just going to color, kind of like scribble scrabble, um, your colors all over. So I will do that right quick for you, and it doesn't have to be perfect because um, you are, it's gonna run with that rubbing alcohol, okay? So we're just going to get some color on here. You don't have to worry about the patterns or anything because it's going to all be mixed up. Um, I tend not to use black or brown because um, when you're using those colors, just like if you're mixing paint, um, it's going to be like all like a different color maybe that you won't prefer. So you're just going to color, 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 color. And um, you can do one or two colors, like same color pattern, or you can just go crazy with the whole pack. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'm almost done. The color, the more darker your colors are, the more vibrant your, your project's going to be. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm kind of doing it quickly um, so you can see the ending result. Okay, so I just colored just lines. You can do patterns or circles or whatever. Um, so that's that. And then I'm you, the key to this is you don't want to oversaturate this because if you do, then you're going to have to move it back and forth so it didn't dump off the extra alcohol and then your pattern's not going to be... Um, maybe as brilliant or bright as you want it to be. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna drop it. And you can kind of see as the color starts, oh, I'm gonna make, this is gonna be messy, that's why I have a plate. Huh? You can kind of see the colors starting to swirl. So you can also do a few layers you can also do a few later layers and then you can kind of dump it if you want to. You can kind of see the colors spreading and running. Um, it's probably a good idea to wear gloves with this because um, your fingers will get kind of uh, inked up. So you can kind of just see this. If you don't like it, then you know what? No problem. You can just add more colors. And if you want swirls, you can kind of see there's swirls in there right now. Just leave it be. Um, well, you saw it before I tilted it, but, um, when it gets all done, I will let it just put on a paper plate and let it dry for a couple hours. And you can, when you're done with that, um, if you're going to use it to put cups on just for the condensation purposes, um, you could put a light coat of decoupage on here, or if you have some acrylic spray, um, some lacquer, you can spray that on there. Um, and then when you get done, you will have a set of one or four, however you want to make. This makes a good gift too. You could just tie a ribbon on it and package it up and, um, and give it away as a gift. And it's very inexpensive and it's something that you made. And even the children can make it as, um, like I said, I would recommend putting gloves on so you don't get all um, markered up. So I hope you like this video. Check back our YouTube channel at Harrison Township Public Library and um, see more things that we're creating for you.